Hello, Kiana Sage here with December 2019, Being in Sync Vibe. And I am super excited about this month's vibe because we're changing it up. See, for the last 20 years, I have been into personal development and growth and expansion, but this last couple months, I've been looking at the tools that I've been using and they just don't fit for the way we have changed. So I've changed them up. So I used to use this thing called the circle of life and it is so simple. It was to divide up your life in simple categories and to just see. And you look at your life and you look, okay, this is where I'm spending my time. Is this how I want to continue to invest my time or do I need to change it up? I have changed the circle of life to the circle of becoming because we are always in a state of constantly becoming and we need to stay focused on who it is that we are becoming because if we continue to do what we've always done, we will get what we've always gotten. And it is time that we look at life in a different way. So. I have come up with 10 separate categories and these categories, I'm going to go over it with you. And if you want this sheet, just simply email me and I'll email it back to you. But I drew, I, I put mine in colored pens so I'd be able to discuss with you today because I'm going to walk you through the circle of becoming and the different categories and then you can do it yourself. And the reason why I'm giving it to you this month, December, is because this is usually the time, this month and January, where people look at their lives and say, is this what I want? And oftentimes they're just looking at certain one or two things and they're choosing, but really we want to make decisions and decisions come when you have more than one option. <laughs> So I have created this circle of becoming to encompass 10 different categories. The first category that I'm going to talk to you about, and I, these are just in alphabetical order, they're not necessarily in how you would chunk them out. So imagine you have 100% in the circle and you need to divide each topic up into different percentages. So it all adds up to 100. So attitude, love of life, enthusiasm, and confidence. So what you would do is look at this and say, okay, how is my attitude? How am I loving my life? Am I enthusiastic? Am I confident? And you would measure yourself on the scale of zero to a hundred and you would put your percentage there. Awareness. Do you pause, reflect, and expand on your new ways? Put a percentage there. Career, are you appreciated, valued, and do you find what you're doing rewarding? Life purpose, are you intentional? Is what you're doing meaningful? Do you find it is using your divine intelligence, that what you were put on this earth to do? That is what life purpose is. Longevity. It's different than health and wellness, although it includes health and wellness. Longevity is really about your focus of well-being. So you're not just trying to be old, but you're trying to be older, wiser, and healthier. That is health, vitality, and energy. Love, category of love, really includes faith, giving, receiving, faith, giving, and receiving. Finances. This is a big one because a lot of people worry about their finances. Debt-free. Freedom. Abundance. Do you feel those things when you think of finances? Fun and playtime. So adventure. Do you take time for renewal and joy? And then you would put a percentage there relationships. This is really about your connection. Do you feel relaxed? And are you in 
a sincere relationship? Is there sincerity in your relationships? Meaning they're not fly by night. They're really, there's a connection there and you feel valued and appreciated. And then service to others. This is community, caring, kindness. How are you giving those to others? Do you give those to others? So now that you know all the topics, what you would do is just go through and put percentages onto them. And so for me, the highest percentage was on awareness. I spent a lot of my time on being aware of what's happening within me, within my life, within my relationships, within my career, within my clients, because when I'm working with them, it's important for me to be aware of what it is that they have going on. Not just what's spoken, but what's unspoken. So awareness I had at 30%. And then the next highest one, which was longevity. And for the last year, I've spent a considerable amount of time on longevity, just my health, my vitality, and the energy that I have and expanding that. And uh, for example, I have been changing my diet. I have been meditating four times a day. Like it's really been a concerted focus. So right now, that's the second highest for me. Then I have a couple sections that I have broken up into tens. You know, my attitude, my career, my life purpose. And then it breaks down even more into other categories. And what happens is you have a visual picture. And like, this is my life as it's reflected right now, today, this moment. I did this this morning before I was gonna record. And so what do you do with this is, you look at it and you think, hmm, is that really how I want to continue to spend and invest my time and energy and thought and intention? And for me, the answer was no. <laughs> um, I definitely looked at this and thought, wow, I'm really glad I focused on longevity and my awareness, but I really need to start to put some more concerted efforts in my career. Now, when I was looking at my career, uh, and career, remember, is appreciation, valued, and rewarding. You know, I am very rewarded and appreciated within my sessions. However, do does society as a whole know about me? Are they able to value and appreciate it? Am I being rewarded in those global ways? And the answer for me was no. Um, not where I want to be. In the past, in my career, I've been much more um, public than I have recently. And I think because I've been spending so much time on the longevity and awareness pieces that, you know, some other pieces may have not gotten as much attention as I would have liked. So what will happen is, is I will start to adjust my focus for my career and all these other segments based on my choosing of two really two areas that I want to focus on for the next quarter. So I typically do this once a quarter. So I can get a really nice visual. And I don't always color it. <laughs> I did that for you so you could see how the sections go cuz you could see I got some really big sections up here and then you know I have a 1%er there. And really in the 1%, do I really want that to grow? And the answer is yes. And that's directly correlated with my career, which is also what I wanted to grow. So things have a way of um, balancing out when we have a focused intention and are deliberate in our actions. But we can't do that if we aren't taking time to just pause, check in, where am I at? Not where do I think I'm at? Just like seriously put it on a pen to paper. Where am I at today? And to begin to make choices based on where you want to go, who you are becoming instead of who have you been. So my suggestion is that you do this now. If you want to shoot me an email, I'll be happy to provide you a, a PDF of this and you could just go and draw it on your own. You don't need to check in with me, but you can listen to this video and see how I looked at things. My biggest piece of advice on this is to not micromanage it. Just go with your initial instinct. Have fun, enjoy, color it if you like, 
but take the time to check in, to be in sync and see if that's where you wanna to continue to go. Cheers and happy new year.